Um, I mean, it's obviously shocking just to see something like that, especially, you know, being an alumni of the school. Um, you know, nobody really likes to hear anything like that coming out of uh, coming out of a school like this, and uh, it's very unfortunate to be, uh, to be honest with you. Well, I think it's personally, it's something that should be frowned upon. Uh, I feel like entrance to colleges and universities, it should be based on merit, should be based on your personal skills, uh, your experiences, and parent involvement is nice and all, but having a lot of money is not part of what makes a person a person, what makes you special or what makes you unique that uh, allows you to perform well and do well and be successful in college. And I feel like using money as somewhat of a gateway to buy yourself into a program is not only being dishonest to the school, but dishonest to yourself and your capabilities. Like a USC has a program here, it's for low income minority students. So it kind of, uh, you know, they, they do really like support that. So it's really disappointing to hear that, you know, people that don't deserve it have gotten in. Um, well, I feel like it's not a surprise. Like, um, you have um, top donors already donating to the school to get um, to get an advantage for their kids to get into uh, some of these schools. So it's not surprising that they will uh, bribe the coach or any other faculty member to get a little edge to uh, push their kids in. And um, I'm from, I'm actually from Hong Kong, so like this is kind of common for like uh, someone to pay a huge amount of sums of money they get a name on their building and their kid gets in without the kid actually not um, trying as hard as other kids to kind of push themselves and get into the college that they deserve so it's kind of demoralizing I guess for other kids who actually put the time and effort to work and try to create their application to suit that um, the university